All right, good morning, welcome back. Another exciting day of algebra. So today we're going to learn combining like terms. So before we learn how to combine like terms, you have to know what like terms are. Okay. And we have to know what a term is. So in algebra, terms, what is a term? So a term is an expression that looks like this. Okay. So we could have a coefficient out in the front. We could have a variable. That variable could have an exponent. So this is a term. A term is an expression that looks like this. And I'll give you some examples. We could have 4x. We could have negative 3a squared. We could even have x, y squared. You could even have just a number by itself. This is a term, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. What would be some non-examples? Non-example would be something like this. Okay. This, all together, is not a term. Okay. This has two terms. So a term is just one of these things. This has a plus sign, so that means there's two of them. Okay. So don't call this whole thing a term. And then we can make a note. Terms are separated by a plus or a minus. Okay. So when you see that terms are separated by a plus or a minus. So there's two terms in that expression. Any questions on what a term is? Everyone's got it. It's pretty basic. So now that we see what a term is, now that we know what a term is, the next thing we have to know is what are like terms. Okay. So what is this thing called like terms? Everyone's good? These would be considered like terms because they have the same variable, x, and they have the same exponent, the 2. So you see, same variable, same exponent. Same variable, same exponent. So if it has the same variable, same exponent, they are like terms. Questions? Everyone understands? If they're like terms, same variable, same exponent. What would be non-example? Okay. 
Anyone can give me a non-example? Who can give me two terms that are not like terms? 2x? 2x and? Well, if we use 3x, would they have the same variable? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So what would be another one that would not make two? And Just two? Two x and two. These are not like terms. Because this doesn't have the variable. Okay. What would be another one? Another example. Two terms that are not like terms. Let's try 2x to the third power and 2x to the second power. They're the same variable, but they're not the same exponent. So these are not like terms. Okay. For them to be like terms, they have to have the same variable, same exponent. These do not, so we would not be able to combine them. Okay. So let's look at an example where we combine these. What if I said 4x plus 6x? Are they like terms? Yes. Yes, how do we know? The variable. The variable is the same, right? What about the exponent? It's the same. The exponent's 1, right? So what would we get? If they're the same, we add the coefficients. So 4 plus 6, careful, it's just 10x. We don't add the exponents. We don't multiply the exponents. We leave it the same. Just like when we add or subtract fractions, we leave the denominator the same. Here we leave the variable and the exponent the same. Okay. Not squared. Squared is if we're multiplying. We, here, we are adding. Okay. If we did x times x, that's x squared. We do x3 times x2. That's x to the fifth, because we add the exponents. Okay? Not true here. It stays the same. So we have negative 3x squared plus 5x squared. Are these the same? Are they like terms? Yes. yes. So we deal with the coefficients. Negative 3 plus 5. Positive 2. 2. Positive 2. So we get 2. And again, we leave the x squared, x squared. We leave that the same. Okay. Here's another one. about this one. 4x minus 3 minus 6x. No. Is there anything that's like term? 10x minus 3. The 4x and the 6x. So we have 4x with a minus 6x. We always use the sign in front of the term. Okay, so make that note. Note. We always use the sign in front of the term. So we use this. So 4 minus 6, negative 2, x. And this one, we just bring it down. Okay. So you look for the ones that are like terms. They both have x, same variable. And then we take the 4, in front of this term is a minus, so it's 4 minus 6, negative 2, keep this, bring down the negative 3. That's it. Okay? We're good? We understand? Questions? No questions? Alright. Yeah?